Hey everyone, my name's Ian Ethan Case. I play the acoustic double neck guitar on Candy Rat Records and just wanted to share with you my experience with these PreSonus R80 monitors, which I've been using to edit and mix my upcoming album called Earth Suite. My previous album, Run Toward the Mountains, I only had to worry about myself, my instruments. It was just a complete solo record. This project we're working on now is totally the other side of the spectrum where we reached out to a whole bunch of amazing musicians who come from all different parts of the world and different cultural backgrounds. I'm really grateful to have gotten to record with some of my favorite musicians in the world, really. Um, guys like Jamie Haddad and Eugene Friesen. Knowing who was involved with the project, we really wanted to do justice to their playing, so we were fortunately able to record in some amazing studios around the country with just you know fantastic engineers and basically the best microphones and preamps that money can buy. So I knew we had these really high quality raw tracks, and I didn't want to compromise the quality of the album because of any shortcomings in my own equipment or skills as an engineer who's really a musician. Also, one of the byproducts of getting to be in a high-end studio environment was that I got to hear for the first time what true full-range sound really sounds like with these huge midfield monitors. It was amazing to me how much I had been missing that I didn't even realize I was missing on 5-inch near fields. So when it came time to edit and mix the project, I really wanted to try and still have that full-range sound so I would be making the right decisions, um, not just in terms of EQ and stuff, but choosing the best parts of different takes and really making sure I was hearing everything I needed to hear. I knew I needed something other than my small near fields that I'd been mixing on, so I was really excited to try out these PreSonus R80 monitors with an eight inch Kevlar woofer. I thought, you know, okay, these will be a great source to compare back and forth with my small monitors that I'm used to and I got a speaker switcher for that purpose. But what happened was the speaker switcher arrived a day or two after the PreSonus monitors and I had already plugged these in and after not even a day of mixing on these speakers, it was really apparent to me that there wasn't really a point to listening to my other monitors at all, <laughs> even as a reference, because it was just such a night and day difference in a very balanced way, it wasn't like hit you over the head, exaggerated bass response or anything. It was just very full spectrum and very balanced and very even. I felt like I could trust it even more than the monitors that I've been using for five years. And so I never ended up even plugging in the speaker switcher. Now that most of the project is mixed, I do feel like we've been able to maintain that high level of quality that I was hoping I wouldn't be the one to drop the ball on. I certainly feel like this album has come out way better than anything I've been able to achieve in the past. I'm so grateful to PreSonus for doing what they do and helping artists like me to achieve that level of quality that we're going for and ultimately just making it more possible to communicate what I'm trying to communicate as an artist.